Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Colony hello. Survival. Sorry, we missed. Hello, a week hello. Because uh, you and Doug went to a gig. How was it? Was it? It was week? amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Really fun. We got backstage passes, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, wasn't you. as glamorous as it sounds, though. No, the, and it, back, the backstage of places is um, a bit grimy, as, as you'd expect the backstage yeah. of places to look like. It's, it's yeah, it's all the tech people. It's not, it's not, it's not supposed to be shown off. You no, know? Exactly. so they never it's really no. cramped rooms with a pizza in, like old pizza boxes and like yeah. wires everywhere, and and like a half opened case of beers. Yeah, it's like a little bit grimy, I guess, as well, right? Like, yeah. yeah, like um, all, all those um crates that they move like drums in you know all the instrument cases yeah 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 the the flight cases it was pretty cool pretty great um we got a drink with them before the show and then we drank very late with them after the show it was it was fun fun time very late like Uh. like 5 a.m late (laughs) (laughs) wow really yeah it was a very fun night though Oh, 5 a.m. That is very late, dude, to be... What yeah. Do you, how do you... F- I mean, why don't you just go to someone's house at that point? Like, how do you... Why do you stay out? Because this, this out's fun. I know, but can you... You can, you can you manage to find places, do you, to stay out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, just, there's, there's some bars that are open until late until and stuff. Until you get kicked out of one, and then there's, like, another one that's open. We'll go to that yeah. one Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It just gets... It gets progressively less... Less good as you go along, because otherwise right. you'd been there first, wouldn't you? I mean, much nicer being back at a house party, but I guess there, there is something about the like night out atmosphere. I feel like if I, if I don't, I just if I go out to someone's house, I'm just gonna sit on the sofa and like fall asleep. Right, <laughs> right. Whereas when you're in a pub, you're not allowed to do yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I guess you are. I mean, you're, it's like the cozier the pub, the more you're inclined to fall asleep. Right. Coffee shops are becoming more and more like that, aren't they? You know, they sleep want holes. Sleep holes, yeah, yeah, like the cozy, the cozy cushions. Although then again, the coffee that you're having probably keeps you going, right? Um, yeah, I appear to have lost all of my infantry. Did I die last time? Maybe I did. I lost mine as well, but yeah, mm. this can happen. So we're not going to think about it too much. We're streaming live. Sorry, chat. Hello. Uh, different ore types are under different locations. Zinc is only under the mega trees. Gold is under mountains. A few other places. Ah. Yeah, so you have advanced. You you guys have advanced to the gold <clears throat> and um, some other e- era where you actually need that stuff. Yeah, the the the, the zinc yep. I think spawns. I am getting gold. Zinc. Mega trees. I'm getting tin. So under this tree will be iron, zinc. Um, I'll and I'll hook you up when you need it. You, if you need it, you can make a little. You can come over here. You can like you can like live with Why me. Why do people keep asking you if I'm back? What what's this? There was what's a this TTT meme? that went out where you were upset that everyone made such a fuss when Tom appears. Oh, oh, oh I remember saying and not you. That, yeah, I was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. If, Duncan has <laughs> barely missed a, a video though. Actually, he missed one I'm, the this I, week because I missed one on Tuesday. You uh, were tired. I can't remember. The clocks I went to back. Set my alarm. Did you get affected by the clocks going back last week? Uh, um, I I just I mean I don't think so because I, I wasn't I, I was out a lot last week. Well, we were we were in DGen <laughs> mode, so we went to see Lovejoy the yeah. same the same week that we parted to five a.m. with Black Honey. Lovejoy, you, you know what? What Wil, Wilbur Suit, the Minecraft oh, man's right. band. Sure, yeah. How was that? We, that was pretty good. It was like you know like some indie music I would have liked when I was like you know sixteen or something. Wow, you would have yeah. liked. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, I was like, really I was like, I was like, I was like okay, cool. so this is this is good, but like, it's not really my my cup of tea. Oh, you know? wow! <clears throat> like these well, days, I I got there so late that you missed I, the whole I show. Was, I was hanging out with Ozzy, and and we would like we we thought we'd head over a bit late because we didn't want to see like all the support acts. And then we got there at like half nine, and as we got there, everyone was coming out. <laughs> and I was oh. like, oh shit, I think you might have missed it. Shit. And then, um, <laughs> okay, because we were on the guest list, so like, we walked in and we were like, hey, we're on the, we're on the guest list. <laughs> Can we come in? And they're like, you know, it's over, right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we just came in and met up with everyone. Oh. I can't believe you missed that. <laughs> 
Well, that's pretty quite dumb. early to it, be playing, I know. isn't it? Like because, seven um, or something or like eight? Black Honey didn't start until like quarter past nine on, on, on like Wednesday. Yeah. So I was like, that's probably about the same time as when this band will start, right? Well, everyone nope. had to get home to bed. <laughs> it's already over. All the all the Minecrafters had to get into. Um... They didn't play pig step. They didn't play pig step. You know the the Minecraft Nether Pigman song. I was expecting Lovejoy to play some Minecraft music, and they didn't play any. Oh, oh, that's, that's just that's just sad, isn't it? It is. Um, I mean, they, they've got to think about even it, like if you get famous off a song. I know. You can. Some bands are always like, "Look, we don't like this song, but we know the audience do. It's what got us famous. We're grateful to it. We're going to play it because of the response mm. it gets. They don't care for the song, but they play it because they know it's going to get. They're doing it for the audience, right? Yeah. Other people yeah. are just like, "I don't play this anymore. Um, I only play my new weird stuff. Right. And if you if you don't like it." That's you know. why I like seeing bands at festivals because they kind of have to play like their greatest hits like every time. Yeah. Well, I think also there's a bit of an element of audience which is like play Wonderwall or whatever. Do you know what I mean? There's always gonna yeah. be yeah. some people in the audience who are like demanding a certain song. And I remember I, I went to see Echo and the Bunnymen at Glastonbury once. You know My that? God, I forgot they existed. Yeah, you know that song they do. I'm not even uh... sure what they who they are. Echo and the Bunnymen. I mean. I'm not even sure what that is. Love will tear us apart. Okay, is that them? Well, yeah, I yeah, that sounds. That's that's, I recognise that. Is that is that right? Am I sure. Getting their bands mixed up. I can't no, remember. that sounds anyway, right. Um, they they were like, they were like, everyone wants us to play the song, but we fucking hate this song. We hate playing it, but we're gonna play it for you. <laughs> that's Joy Division. That's Joy Division. Chat. Okay, and maybe it was Joy Division. I went to see. I can't remember exactly, but it was one of the songs from the. Donnie a song Darko's that everyone soundtrack. has heard of, yeah. It was on the Donnie Darko soundtrack. That's all I remember. It was on the Donnie Darko soundtrack. <laughs> chat? Googles? Um, any chat? Any Googlers in chat? Let us know. What, what, what's the echo in the bunny man? Killing Moon, that's the one. Okay, it was Killing Moon. Killing Moon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and okay. they just didn't want to play Killing Moon, but they did anyway. <laughs> and I was like, wow, well, well, that's kind of weird. Well, well, you know, they've got to... Um, again, like... <laughs> So you don't want to, don't ruin your audience getting angry, you know, drunken people yelling at you. You know, we want to all be loved. I just want to be loved, Duncan. And yeah. these people, they're just normal men, mostly. Just innocent men. <laughs> just innocent men. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be loved. Are you gaining gold and... Uh, am I... <sighs> yeah, my gold is... My gold is going up. Oh, and my tin's going up as well. Okay, it is going up. It's just slow as fuck. You actually are getting gold. I have to buy my gold. I think I'm. It's getting used to make bronze straight away or the tin. That's why it doesn't stick around. I have to buy my gold in. I have to sell copper and linen and other crap. And buy it. But... I don't think I'm using gold for anything. Uh, it used to make traps. Pra I'm not making traps. I know can you live without traps? Things. Yeah, of course you can. I, don't, I mean, the thing is, the way I think it works is. Um, oh, they have, do I need animal carcasses as well? Um, oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, basically, the way it works is your arrow men obviously stand still for the whole time at yeah. night and shoot arrows, but your droppers, uh, you know, dropper men have to be ready to reload the droppers. So it, I think it kind of, in fact, I don't know if, if anyone's done the math uh, and t on which of these, whether droppers are more efficient than arrows at what tier of defense, let us know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We don't know. I've, I've completely forgot what I was doing. But I'm Where's doing, the zinc this was the traps that I set up last week. So I've got this uh, trap path where they come along this way, they come along this way, they get squashed, and then everyone has a party. And I'm, I'm kind of paranoid about the trap, party. the drop, the, pra the trap balls running out. But um, hmm. we'll, we'll just see. I'm we'll just carry on going with crossbows at the moment. I'm, I don't feel like I need traps yet. I, maybe there's a point in the game where I will need traps. Right. Not, I don't really want to think about them for now. I need to reset up berry boys. Hmm. Berry boy. You need berry boys, yeah, for your meals. Yeah, I don't know where to put them, though. I don't know where, where <clears> on my space I want to build berry boys. Berry boys. Maybe like I'm I, may, I'm I may have to reintroduce now. a few, few boys. I'm just trying to work out what I need to do. Um, 
Yeah, so what do you think about that? I'm at my I'm at my Connell's limit, three fifty out of three fifty. So maybe I should up that. I mean, that's the my thing which is I need four fifty, to... baby. Oh my god! Is that going to be the big drawback in getting is... to a thousand dudes, having enough? Mm. Um, yeah, maybe. I need some more know. points. What was what was it you're making revs that give you more lock boxes? What's the, what's the special lock? Oh, boxes? copper lock boxes or bronze lock boxes. That. Oh, there we go. I see. Okay, I'll, I'll lock that. Yeah, bronze. I only have bronze ones now. I have no more copper. Do you have to? Okay. How do you make bronze though? You have to have like um, um tin. Is it tin and copper? And where do you even get that from? Yeah, bronze. Uh, the in the mountains. In the mountains. Why can't I complete it? Interesting. You, I remember you, in the mountains. Mm. Oh. What's the optimal berry farm again? What was the good the size for it? possible. <laughs> yeah, this, is, that, is that the most optimal one? Yes, I believe so. The s smallest possible is the best one. Five by one, one at, by five? one at 27. Um, I don't oh. like it, though. I don't, I don't Come. like it. Come. I can't unlock this. Uh, I, I don't have an answer. Oh, I, I've got my missing. digging hole as well. I forgot about this. Oh my god, it's massive now. <laughs> okay, do I just keep digging down? Oh, I need more points. Oh god, the bar looked like it was full. It's quite dramatic, this, actually. It's quite sort mm. of dramatic. What is? My, my hole. No, oh, <laughs> the dramatic hole. It's quite. Yeah. My my, Lewis, you have it's a rather dramatic hole there. If I do say so. Expensive, yeah. It's quite like. It's quite a deep hole. Oh. Okay, I'm unlocking bronze lock boxes. Done. So now I make them in. Uh, and then I just keep going down. Well, how engineer? far down? See, I've got where something's made. Sorry, what's the best way to find out where something's made? Where, uh, um, hover like... over it; it should tell you. Or you look up at the technology. Uh, hmm. This is the ah. pit of a thousand yes. dudes. Engineer's bench and these bronze ingots. Okay. Wow, I'm using a lot of bronze. Where is my bronze going? <laughs> Uh, well, I think um, bronze is like a bit rarer, right? Because you need the tools? tin as well. Yeah, maybe I need to up my tin production. Where are you getting the tin from? The, under the, the mountain? mountains, yeah. Yeah, I'm not How getting I... much tin. How okay, I'm going to go to the mountain. I've set this up all wrong. I've set this 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 staircase. It's a disaster. Oh my god, alright, fine. I'm going to have to reset this whole thing up. Unlocked, I've unlocked it. Uh, points. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take away my my lock boxes for now, just to reduce the threat. Right. I need them. Well, they're not full. My points aren't full. Oh. I'm by a long way. Oh, what if I? My hole is a mess. <laughs> 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 need to clean it up. Um, mm -hmm. I'll worry about this in future. For now. What do I want to do for now? I want to see if I can look into my hole and see a thousand dudes. Right. Do it. You, you, you shouldn't see a thousand dudes right now. What do you mean? If you look into your hole and see a thousand dudes, you don't have a thousand dudes. Well, no, we, but he I, wants to have be, be able to do that. In I'm the preparing oh. the hole for a thousand dudes. Yeah. Oh, ah. So if I start putting these down. Actually, I just need to check how big this hole this hole is. Oh my god, I'm out of beds. Of calculation. I'm out of beds. Well, not out of beds, but like I need to build, put down more beds to get more dudes. So that is fourteen. Got Twenty dollars from Johnny H. Thank you, Johnny. Hey, H. Johnny H. H. My boy. Ten dollars from Reich. Uh, nice. Three says my buddy and I hit a thousand dudes. We had a ceremony. I gave a bad speech, and we both clicked recruit. To share the glory. Five seconds later, we got a message that all the colonists in our outpost had died. <laughs> oh. I don't oh, think shit. we're counting our outpost dudes as as part of the thousand dudes. Why not? Uh, because then it's spread out. 
and not in one place. You want a thousand dudes in one hole. You can't use that for it. You can't use the outpost dudes. Hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah, true. Th you have to. S yeah, I think that doesn't count. Do, do they count in your to your three fifty though? Your outpost dudes. I don't think so. I think they do. You do they do? I don't think they do. The game counts your outposts for the achievement. For the achievement, yes, but not for the, not the for number. Them. Going, up, going back to my mansion. Oh, 20 me. bucks from Admiral Lloyd, dollar he dues, who says, Thank you. I love your videos. Wish I was able to visit y'all while my parents were stationed at RAF Lakenheath. Don't know where that is. Been watching your videos for years. <laughs> now I'm in not, college. Not I finally else. can give back. Thanks again for years of laughs. Oh man, thank you, Lloyd. So this is half the size it needs to be, right? Right. Wow, it's, and it's really quite big. So I want to be able to see a thousand dudes. So it needs to be twice as big as this. <laughs> but I Just think I'm deep your builders enough. Builders do that? Wow, this is quite a big, big old hole. I think I'm. I think I'm. Deep I haven't enough. even unlocked builders yet. I haven't got builders. I got diggers. You got diggers. You definitely have got diggers. Oh, diggers! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not using I builders. I don't know if I've um, got diggers either. Oh, I have. <sighs> I guess anything. what I want... Let's turn my flashlight on. What I'm looking for is... To be to be able to look down and see all the dudes. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have to be able to... I have to be able to see them in their glory. And I, could, I guess I could do that from one side. I doesn't need to be from above, right? It could be from one side. You could always make a hole in the roof and look down with glass or something. That yeah, how much cool. further can I go this way before I get to the edge of my area? Well, then again, I'm going to have to increase my banner size a little bit before... It must be a glass block, surely. Eventually, right? Yeah, glass... There, you must be a clear block. Sure. What is, what's the Nightcore. that looks like little... Lewis is out Salt here recreating groups. the platform with his whole of dudes. <laughs> oh my god, the platform. Do you remember that fucking um, movie? Yeah. Oh, that was Wait. such a cool no, concept. What? Where there was the like platform. an elevator or a platform that went up and down. And like at the f and so everyone everyone was like on a level, right? Like there were people at the top of the, of the platform and there were people yeah. at the bottom. And they put like this banquet out on the platform and it started at the top. And then it would like gradually go further down, and by the time it got to like halfway down, there'd be no food left. And by the time it reached the bottom, there'd be like there's a dead people on it, you know. Oh God! And people were like falling down. People would fall like down through the hole uh, to their death. And people would. Oh, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty That's epic. Ghastly. Man, it was like quite a cool. I love those. Um, I love those one-off grim movie ideas right is it like, like an escape movie do they work out how to get out at the end yeah it's like cube or whatever i kind of like those or... i like escape movies where it's like here's yeah. a horrible situation and they're gonna like, work out how to get out of it i mean i guess saw like ruined them because that was kind of like just too gross and messed up right but there's a load of there was a there was this time when it's just a horror movie though, they were really. making loads of like sci-fi versions yeah. right um it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty like um, grim, like the idea of the platform for sure. But, but, but like, I don't would know. Say, I... Would you say the menus in the skate movie? The menu. Oh, I enjoy the menu. Yeah. So again, a sort a similar vibe, isn't it? It's a bunch of people like who have you know been. How are they gonna get out of this? They've been. They've been trapped somewhere. They're like, wow. We the normal people who weren't expecting it. And like seeing how they all react differently to stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these shows, chat, are based on people being... Having a load of stereotypes, right? The dumb guy. <laughs> like, and everyone's really dumb. And then there's one really smart person who solves it, you know, and actually does like... But seems to know more than you do as well. Like, so how do they know that that would be how it worked out? But... Every time you're watching those shows, you constantly coming up with ideas. You're like, but why can't they just do this? Yeah. And then why can't they just do this? You know. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they the do. The rest is really rewarding when you have an idea and then they do it. 
and then even if, it, even if it doesn't work and you, you like you're like oh well, at least they tried it you know that's that true thing that i would have tried yeah um well so you like it when they do something that i would say is kind of dumb no i like it when they do things that i would have done even if uh, it doesn't work because i prefer not, least... yeah, the smarter it is the better or at least apparently yeah. the smarter it is the better yeah I, well this is it's a classic thing to trap to fall into right when you're writing a movie it's like the only way that we're going to be able to make this specific scenario happen is if all the characters are really stupid idiots yeah, yeah. exactly that's, that's annoying like the only way they can like only, this only the story off. only works if everyone's stupid and it's like yeah. well why don't you make them clever and write better oh well uh, i i do <laughs> i do have a, i do i that does ha- that does happen sometimes I think it happens more with stuff that's been thought about for longer, like certain, mm. like like things that are, like the first book of a series, right? Is the author has had so much more time agonizing and thinking about it, right, and going back and yeah. forth that they've usually ironed out all of these weird plot holes in the first one, right? It's not any sure. obvious, but then the second and third, they're like bashing them out to get hit the deadlines, you know. Now they're successful or whatever, or they've had their first book out, and they're like, "Okay, I just need to do this next one." They're a lot less like caring about. Um, yeah, this is the game show recruit chat as well, Bob one three eight. Yeah, I mean, I think Ben has the anecdote where he tried to apply to go on Crystal Maze, and they said they were too smart or whatever. <laughs> do you know what I mean, the team was like, "Sorry, we need people who are going to fail these puzzles, or you know, get locked in." And there's like, um, I think it's like, I also think there's an element of when you're under pressure and the cameras are rolling and there's bright lights everywhere, you just, you just are worse than you would be if you weren't in that situation. You know? Yeah. Like when you sit at home and you're like watching Weakest Link or who wants to be a million, you, you, you know the answer was when you're on the spot like that, it's so much fucking harder to answer these questions, I swear. Oh, no, you're right. Like as soon as you, as my, my, you, you, there's this like brain that freeze. Yeah. thing that happens not like the ice cream one but you know where when you're suddenly under pressure and you have to recall something it's just gone from yeah. your head it's just it's like i know this answer i know it i know it but i cannot think of it <laughs> happens a lot happens a yeah. lot i was um reading a thing today about uh games right and how um a lot of a lot of games deliberately mess with the probability numbers right to make you feel like um it's more reasonable so the classic one is like xcom when it says like 90 percent to hit right yeah and yeah, you yeah, miss yeah. it right you're like that's very frustrating and bullshit but yeah that's actually a one in ten chance which means that when you when you see a 90 percent in xcom you're like oh this is a guaranteed hit right and when yeah. it doesn't hit you're very like, frustrated oh. about it <laughs> and so they actually in a lot of games they fudge the numbers right, right. and they change the formula uh fire emblem is a classic one as well where um in fact like they have it like on a on a they, they'll roll the dice twice like uh, also in pokemon for example the classic thing with pokemon is that when a enemy pokemon would use a status effect against you like confuse or whatever yeah, mm. it was only they would roll basically roll two two dice to take the lowest. So they would miss like twice as well, more than twice as much. Um, basically, the idea to to because because they found in early playtests that status effects were very annoying to play against, and so when you use them, they go off at normal rates. But when the opponents use them, the AI computer, uh, it goes off at like half rates. Um, and and this hmm. is very very common in games like the like in XCOM a ninety percent sure chance for the multiplayer. Like in in, in XCOM a ninety percent chance is like actually a ninety nine percent chance or like a ninety seven percent chance, um, because and even that like it, even when people when Are you people... sure XCOM's not the other way around. Liz? <laughs> no, actually apparently on legendary XCOM they rolled two, two dice and they picked the lowest. <laughs> wow, on, apparently on the higher difficulty things they don't have any RNG modifiers, but like. Apparently, it's very common for that to go in, and it's almost become like um, a situation where the their games are forced to do it because all other games have done mm. it up until now, and it's kind of almost like trained gamers to misunderstand well, why don't, probabilities. Why don't they just tweak, rather than doing that and faking it, why don't they just make it easier to hit stuff? Uh, well, because like... because then it doesn't feel like you've 
you feel like I think there's no, this I mean, like, psychological rather saying, thing rather than saying ninety percent chance feeling lucky. Dice, why not just say eighty percent chance? Well, because because I th- well I don't know like I just don't think it's as satisfying. It doesn't feel as good. I think it's about giving players like a a feeling and experience, right? And certain games feel very um, fun, and others don't, right? So I need right. to find a way to stop these chumpy, chumpy lads coming through, so they're not wasting my giant balls. Where can you grow barley? Is that just anywhere? I'm dropping my giant balls on their head. I'm basically teabagging them. Good grief! <laughs> is is barley just an anywhere plant? I don't know. I think barley you have to plant it, right? Yeah, uh, but where? Yeah, is that a specific biome or? Is no, it... I think it's just an anywhere plant. Yeah. Okay. An anywhere plant. I'm happy with this dropper setup. See, I was thinking of adding like a second row of droppers here, but also later what I want to do is add like a wall here and put like a arrow trap. So they come down here, they get shot by the arrow trap, then they go like along here, walk into another arrow trap. Do you know what I mean I have like a hole, and then I can have mm. like a nice viewing platform above so i can see them all going into the incan tomb and trying to raid it and getting crushed by ball- balls in their balls. face um i know i'm supposed to be doing the thousand dudes guys but at the same time i'm just enjoying dropping my balls just right, fucking yeah. slamming your balls on a couple of nasty zombie guys does it, yeah does it look good when your balls drop on a guy well the thing about a gm in a tabletop game Geldon Yetic in chat is that if you're playing D&D the first rule is like James Bond you're probably going to make it to the end unless it's some sort of very special circumstance right the GM is job is to is not to like it's not it's not a GM versus player right it's a GM yeah, but you, you, it's a very fine line to balance because if it you is. think that the GM is going to let you live in every situation, you, it becomes less. Well, but that's it exactly. It's like ha- this. It's, a, it's like this be unspoken, a, a genuinely, rule. like genuine threat of of getting wiped out. Right, the the the, the whole player party wipe needs to be an option. Otherwise, it, the game doesn't the work. The GM has to have this illusion of threat. You're right that 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 they will kill you if you're stupid or. But reckless. you only get that illusion if if you have seen it happen before <laughs> well i mean otherwise players well but then again like i, th- I think again it's, it's all about it's all about like that your play group and what you want from the experience and, and yeah all, and all that blah blah blah. but but i, I think, think there's like, probably certain players that the gm knows they that knows that this player will be happy to roll a new character and then knows that this player will quit the game if their character dies and they yes. probably well that's one over the other <laughs> this is like parenting 101 as well isn't yeah it? it's like oh well you know, life isn't fair, but I'm going to have to get Tammy another ice cream or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, you know, she dropped hers. And I know and I know, Steve has already had his ice cream, but he's going to cry if I don't get him another one as well. So, you know, sometimes you just have to accept these, these things. But I mean, I mean D&D isn't, isn't like a competitive game, right? It's not like, it's not like chess. There's no D and D World Championships. Um, you're you're playing it for the for the for oh, the yeah. story. You're making a story together, and um, the best one, the best experiences are where you you, you cooperate to get to a place. Um, I don't think you should fudge your dice, Johnny, but I think you sometimes have to, right? If you've rolled a crit and then you've rolled a crit, and that's going to kill them. Then you have to. That's why you do it behind the screen as a DM, right? Um, well, I don't think you have to. Though, like, we we play with we play every week with Rithian, and he's never been shy of killing us. But then, he'll especially quite me, quite often if we're very, <laughs> if we're very detached with a character, he'll maybe give us a way to get that character back. But it will take like a few weeks. You know, well, it like, works the oh. other way too, right? You have to fudge yeah. um, these monsters' attacks if they're missing all of their dice rolls. The GM, no, I mean. <sighs> Well, uh, well, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's nice for the party to have an easy fight. Like, it, it, not all fights have to be. Equal. And again, I think it depends the party, right? But but you've got, a, and, and it depends on the situation that that GM is trying to do. But you know, you know what I mean. 
absolutely of course you know what i mean there but you what, you're, you're you're in the mindset of 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 making video content for role-playing games whilst we're we're as the players we're we're the ones that want to have fun and we don't care about how it looks from the outside when we're playing D. &D. well it, i mean you unless have to, unless uh, we're recording the, the players have to win right it's no there's no point in you have to feel like you've beaten something and sure, these games you don't have these to, tables don't have to win with the character games. you started with right Oh, I see. Hmm. I don't know though. You get people get very attached to their characters. Yeah. In which case, they are. There's you know usually ways to get them back. Right. Like magic or whatever you know. Yeah, and that's part of the story, and that's fine. Wow. Sorry, I didn't realise I was uh, stepping on your toes here. Um, very sensitive. <laughs> very sensitive. No, I'm your, just I'm just giving play. you my 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 thoughts on it. I I just don't. I, I guess I don't. Fully agree. No, no, the, no. The I'm just, you're allowed to. I'm not messing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, like, yeah. I, I imagine like there's a little bit of fudging behind the scenes, but I, I, I'd rather than I'd rather than not not be. You know, like, and if there is, they're just very rarely for like just to make a moment really cool. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like, so I, it's cool it's, and... I mean, it's very nice to have a guide to what the world is supposed to be like and have rules. You know, it can't it can't be constantly yeah. made up the whole way through, or else. Everyone will just be on ponies flying to the end boss and using a magic one-shot mm. spell on him to win the game in, on day one. You know, it's not about the destination. It's about uh, the journey and, you know, encouraging people to play the game and, and feel like they've, yeah, like they've prepared, like they've done, like, all they can, like they've made an effort and, they're, and then the payoff, right? Like, I think, I think that, when you have rng in these games that's good and needed and in fact players um prefer a bit of rng often they like a little bit of randomness because because it can mean you can pull out a, a lucky shot when you didn't deserve it or, yeah. or or a little gremlin can get lucky and really injure you by accident yeah. you know like yeah it, it works both ways and you know i think that that adds that's necessary in in the world to make it feel real right otherwise if everything was very fixed and locked mm. in there wouldn't be any it wouldn't feel like and sometimes the element of luck would a be a failure there. can can create a, a situation which would never have happened before and then you you've got more game gameplay that has emerged from this failure and stuff like that you know like if the G, if the dm is good enough to roll with it it's, it's, it's cool to like let things happen and see how they play out. It goes without saying. Keep it on rails. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not a very good um, GM, and really has been doing it for years. And um, other people, Mark Humes, have been doing it for years and years. And they'll have a very different attitude to to me on this, I think. Um, but I, but I feel like you always have to disguise the fact that it is rigged. Um, you know. <laughs> you have to, you have to, you have to keep the players um, mm. be believing that they can die at any time, you know. Whereas, really, you're gonna kind of do your best to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. However it's, stupid it's they certain, are, certain, within like, big fights where you're like, okay, well, this is this is a major plot boss, probably not gonna go easy on us. <laughs> so we got to like, really, the other really, really you, get ready for this. You want to try and instill a sense of like excitement in your players if you've got a guy who's min maxing sure he's welcome to do that but you know you have to tune the difficulty of things and fudge things and you know sometimes like the numbers that you've got won't just just won't gel like you want to put this guy in and the numbers in the best area just won't work for the encounter you're doing and you'll have to make it you don't want every encounter to be like a walkover or unsatisfying especially mm. if the last two have been a cakewalk and people are scared of this one you know, you need you need to. There has to be fudging. Um, the, the GM's job is, job is not just to to be a computer, right? And just calculate things. Oh no! Like an AI, you know. Yeah. Of and course. then you can just all you just quick save. But and rather quick than tweak, your way rather back than in. rather than cheating, they can they can tweak the encounter itself. Like, oh, this is going rather easy for the party. Maybe like another fucking guy appears, like or something like that. You know, rather than changing the dice rolls. Yeah, but I think that's. A, I mean, these, these are all tools, right? That, and I. Yeah, I suppose a good GM doesn't need to um, modify the, the, the numbers as much. But again, it's up to you how you how you you do that, right? I think a lot of the time, like for example, Vampire Survivors, right? 
Vampire Survivors. What the, a game. The third the third chest that you loot in that game is always the highest rarity, right? And it's to get people like is hyped it? about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's always the highest. <laughs> and so like but on your first run, I think, and it's partly to like teach you that this is you can get this chest. But mm. it's also partly to you know, have that explosive RNG moment where you're like, wow, I just got a loot box with the best stuff in it. Right. And it's a similar thing with the pity rolls in Hearthstone. Like, you know, if you if you open 50 packs and you don't get a golden bad legendary... Bad luck protection, yeah, that's what they call it. Wow, isn't it? Pit, pit, yeah, bad luck protection. And it's because players can get very disheartened. Um, and in fact, bad luck protection almost works the other way. It, 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 if, if players know about it, they don't mind. They're like, do you know what? I actually like bad luck protection. That sounds well, yeah. I mean, they, that they, sounds they, like they, a good thing, right? They made it into like a mechanic in WoW. Like, if you go this long without, I don't know, a Titan Forge or whatever, then the, the next one will be like uh, the numbers are hidden, but they're there. Everyone well, they but there. they but there's pub. They're public about that. I think the thing is yeah. that sometimes you can be public about these things and it still be good, right? And players mm. are like, yes. I want this. I want more yes. free stuff. I don't no, want to... At least I'm guaranteed something. Yeah, like, it's like, oh, if I get eventually. bad luck, I still get really good loot. It's <laughs> like, you know, I'm paying for my loot box and if I'm unlucky, I still get... You know what I mean? It's like someone saying to you, you know, buy 50 lottery tickets and on your 51st, we'll guarantee you win. Do you know what I mean? Because... <laughs> Uh, but to see what I mean, like it's it's a thing that they can be open about and still it work and feed into like that um, gambling, mm. gaming aspect of it, right? Whereas in some things like Pokemon or XCOM, you don't want to feel like you're being given a cheat, right? You don't want to be, you don't want to be thinking that the game's fudging the numbers for you. you they want to hide it as much as they can to make you feel like you're lucky or yeah, your roles think- are better. Maybe with loot, is so, is, if, loot in an MMO is very different though, because you're you're spending hours and hours and hours going towards something, and if you don't, never fucking get it, it's, it's very frustrating. Plus, oh, rolling the... for a shot in XCOM is well, that, not... that's just bad game design though, and it's always been bad game design in a sense. Like it's bad in the sense that it's bad psychologically for players, but it hooks them in, right? They feel like you know the the the, the loot box element of things is like, oh, I can't miss a week because this will be the week that. This will be that week where I was destined for to be lucky, right? Mm. Like you get this kind of slightly messed up. Um, Don't want to miss your DKP for that week. Well, you, you know, <laughs> it, nah. it, there are all these little little traps that you have to watch out for that hook you in. You know, Colony doesn't have any of that. Colony's just all about. Well, there's no RNG in Colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this was the thread I was reading it today on. Uh, oh my god, all colonists in Tasco Rock and Stone Co. Oh no, what? Were killed. <laughs> Not again. No. Oh my god, right. Are those your <laughs> guys who were mining the fucking gold and stuff? Yeah, up to the mountains. Up to the back, mountains. Back. You're not defending them well enough, Rav. Oh, How are you wow. doing this? I don't know why they're dying all the time. I, I built them a little defense. <laughs> that being said, my fret has went up. I wonder if that's made the fret bad. Sorry, I need to unlock uh, upgrade four hundred conless. Oh wow, okay. I got I got nine hundred gold ingots. Well, I've obviously bought a lot of gold. What the shit? You buying it all? Yeah, nine hundred. That's you, insane. What are you doing? Well, I'm just not. I'm just buying it. I'm just buying it for copper and and other crap. Uh, what am I supposed to be working on? Chicken meals, I guess I need next. And yeah, a thousand I those colony yet. points. I've unlocked those. How did they work? I, I have to grow barley and then... I don't have... You need cabbages? Am I just going to have to go with the copper lock boxes? Because I can't get bronze. Am, am well, I just like going to be yeah, the Stone you, Age guys? To, well, I'm, I, I'm still like, on copper. I haven't built I any could, bronze yet. I could, I could donate some bronze to you, bronze ones to you, Lewis. Oh, well, that would be nice, nice actually, Rams. I'll, very... I'll do that for you. Let that... me sort out. Let me sort out the mountain men, then I'll nice come by the, the great tree. Yeah, oh, I'll be on my way. Idea. I can. We can do trade. I wonder if that's a real yeah. thing. There's a we, trader's yeah. post. Well, that's I think you have to unlock it though. Different though, right? Is that what is that? Is that trading between mates or mates? What? Yeah, trading between pals. How am I going to make this twice meal. as big? I guess like I'll just do it a bit wider in that 
back bit. I just need to have a bigger colony border. Bloody smelters. My smelting is so... Oh, happy day 69 on the server, everyone. Oh, nice. Day 69? No way. Yeah. Nice day. That's great news. <laughs> what is the 69th day of the year? What date is that? What date is this? Well, it depends if it's a leap year or not, doesn't it? First of all. Um, okay, well, if it's not a leap year. Uh, anyone Anyone chat? Did anyone anyone in no. chat know anything? How many dudes are we at? I'm at 168 dudes. I'm very low dudes. I'm low. I'm, I'm nimble. I'm agile. Oh, do you know what I really could do with though? I get some. Let's get some berry boys up. I, I really feel like I'm I'm making a mistake by not because the berry meals. You need the berry meals. They make into they combine with bread into like de spread meals. But where am I going to put my berry boys? Is what I'm concerned about. I guess out the back here. El back. Let's put maybe I put them out here on the slopes. Berry farmer. I just want them quite close to my base of operations, right? I don't want don't want them to be like too far away. Wouldn't it be funny if day sixty nine was actually February the fourteenth? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and no one had, no one had clocked it until now. That'd be so good. March tenth. <laughs> sixty nine, nice. March tenth. <laughs> Is that your birthday? No, it's first. Uh. Okay. I thought it was something Sadly. like that. If I was just born nine days later, everything would have been fine. Yeah, you would have had birthday 69. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we'll put some berry farms down here. And this is about as many as I'm going to be able to get because I can't really farm on this massive slope. Oh, it is Mario Day. Uh, Mario what? Day is on the 69th day. Oh, what That's for? Hilarious. March 10th. Yeah, March, March 10th is Mario Day, right? Because it's M-A-R-10. Yeah. Yeah. It's very digital. Mm. Uh, sure. All right, Berry Boys, you get to work. Oh, man, I've got some new... Got the bre I've reintroduced berries into the colony at this late <laughs> stage. They're like, oh, thank now. God, some vegetables, finally. Okay, I think I have solved my problem okay, hopefully they're nice. fine don't get wiped out boys i'm i'm rooting for you what if you have you solved it i've built at them i've given them an extra few bowmen and they also have uh a little maze to defend themselves how much threat do your um bronze lock boxes add a lot uh bronze adds 10 and copper adds free but bronze gives you how many colony points 500 wow oh, that's much, yeah you lose a lot of threat if you upgrade them yeah well that's they're nuts then All how right, many colony points do you stone. need to get like to a thousand dudes I, I would say um let's have a look at colony points so it's 2000 for 450 it's gonna be like 10,000 i don't know maybe less I just need to get. I just need to get there. It won't be a problem. I don't think points are going to be an issue, especially if I like buy them off Ravs. Yeah. I'm going by right 000. now with some. Only five thousand dudes. Oh god, I'm selling all my copper, which I probably shouldn't be doing. Well, well, a thousand is... colony points. Copper is a right. big bottleneck for me, actually. Let's upgrade my colonist capacity oh, wow i need to i need to sub stuff to sell <laughs> i need stuff to sell how am i gonna are you guys just potting is that what you guys are doing yeah i'm, I'm getting pots mostly and gold scrolls, i'm selling jewelry scrolls are worth so much i'm making tons of them. golden jewelry worth a ton of money mm. bread where's my bread made stove these guys are. Oh yeah, I want to up my stove a little bit. These guys are like worked out. Does it need? My meals are good. They're going up still, so I'm good for them. Got two thousand. Yeah, I've been going up. 
I've got a hundred cooked meat, fourteen sixty seven wheat porridge, eight sacred wheat porridge. What about fish? You got no fish? I got, got no fish. fish. No, I ain't using fish. Is fish good? Oh, fish is good. So just an extra meal for the lads. My bread meals aren't great, but my fish is good. I've got loads of cooked fish. Right, right just, Lewis, I'm, I'm coming over. Cook fish out the ass. Mm. I need to set up, in that case, I need to set up the underground fishing bay. Fish dungeon, yeah. Well, you've well got it's your, down your, here. You've you got see. your water now, haven't you? Yeah, but yeah, I, need I, to, I need to tunnel it into... Yeah. I can't tunnel anymore. I've, I've, I'm at no, my you've tunnel done capacity. Your duty. You've, you've done, done your, your tunnel duty. Yeah. You've done your tunnel duty, Revs. I respect My it. tunnel time has been and gone. <laughs> tunnel right. time. I'm here in your base. Oh, right. Oh, oh I didn't bring... The oh, I didn't lock bring... boxes. All right, we're back in a minute. That's the one thing. That... <laughs> well, I need to... I need to... I guess if you, I guess you could just stick on copper ones, right? And ah, you'd be crazy if you did. Why? Your fret would be your fret would be through the fucking roof. Hmm. How do I know where the middle of my base is? The where the flag is. <sighs> yeah, but like from underground. Oh. Uh, How am I gonna see? Should I just go this way now? I have projectile hit? traps now. I'm not quite sure how oh, the good their traps. range is, but I've got them set up. Oh, Ravs. I'm so jealous. I've I have really like I've really fallen behind you guys in terms of this game, haven't I? My tech. And it's like that bad, actually. It's just your your dudes. You haven't got many I spent dudes. a whole session talking, and then I spent another whole session building a pyramid. So yeah, I've not. <laughs> I I spent most of the sessions just hopping around the bushes, though. Mm. Just waiting for stuff to happen. Just unsure what to. Yeah, do. I'm like, I need to wait until I have enough bronze or something yeah. and shit like that. And then like because it takes you a while to figure out what your bottlenecks are. You're like, okay, let's just see. Let's just leave it for a bit. I've done some things. I've built some shit. Now let's see what I actually run out of. And then when you work out that, then you got a task, you know. All right, here I am, Lewis. More of this, whatever, you know. It's not uh, how do I give far. these to you? Can I just put them down and you pick them up? Uh, you can put them in my you inventory. Can just drag them into his... Um... Oh, I think you need to like make me a yeah. boy Oh, in the colony. I need to invite you to the colony. Okay. Um... Yeah. Manage Use your owners. stats to find bottlenecks. There you go. I've yeah. added you as a colony owner. Here you go. Nine bronze lock boxes. So what's that? Four thousand five hundred colony points. Yep. God, that's a lot. That is crazy amount. How do I use this? Well, significantly stat... less for it. <clears throat> this, this is the stat board. How do you work out what is getting used more than you you have? The stat board. I wouldn't trust that, Duncan. There's lots of graphs and stuff on it. I just where where quite is it? Sure. Oh, is it, um, have you have you had to place it down? Yeah, you got to build it. I'm looking oh, at it now. I'm like, well, it's not super help. I mean, it's probably really helpful, but I just don't really. Hey, my meals are better now. I'm up at two k meals. I remember reading a comment saying like, Ravs is really going to struggle for his meals soon, <laughs> and I've doubled my output. Wow, you've got two k meals. That's really a lot of meals. That's a lot of meals. Is it fish that's doing it for you? Fish uh, is doing it for me. Let's see. 371 raw fish. Where's my cooked fish? 607 cooked fish. Mm. 55 cooked meat. 335 porridge. 554 bread. 173 okay. bread meal. The meals are doing great. I think everything's doing good, actually, by the looks of this. Oh, my God. Turn off meals. Wow. The... Okay. So... <laughs> I came out... Almost at the bottom of my very deep hole. Wow. Wow, that was lucky. It was like, what? <laughs> really lucky. Okay. You lucky So boy. I need to bring the water here. And then I can set up fishing here. Okay. My stone ammo's out? Yeah, the stone ammo. Stone ammo's been slowly phased out over here. You kind of need it for the lit ones, though. No, I'm using, I'm using bolts. using arrows for them. I'm not even on. I've unlocked crossbows. And I'm not even on crossbows. Oh, I have lots of crossbows. 
you got you got to um, always be always be thinking about defense, you know. Yeah. Why am I? Let's put this to high priority. All right. Make okay. Five of them. You don't right, usually need some... to see the items of yours that are at twenty k. Oh. Well, I guess yeah. I guess in that case, it's getting out of control, isn't it? Do oh you need crossbow bolts? Who makes a crossbow bolt? Isn't Same it just copper arrows? Isn't it just copper arrows? No, you need crossbow bolts. They are oh. made in the Fletcher's bench still. Okay. Get their demand up then. And I'll, Klim. When I start getting enough of those. Now, Ravs, you know the Klim ocean, walk, walkway ocean thing that you've Yeah, got? yeah, yeah. Is that secure? Uh, Yeah, there should be no... Is there zombie access to that river? I shall double check that for you, but there shouldn't. Well, I mean, it's possible for them to spawn there. But what you can do is tunnel all that water into your base, and then just close it up once you've got the pool on the inside. Right. Okay. I see. Close okay. it back up where it goes dark, and then they can't get into you. Sure. That's good to know. Um. Well, but I can't do that every night. That's mad. No, no, no. The water. Once the water's in, the water's in. And oh, you can just I see. Walk it up. Right. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, let's dig this area out then. We'll dig it out. So, what makes a bread meal? Let's figure that out. It's bread, bread and meal. berry meal, I think. Bread and berry meal. So I need to up my berry meals. Okay. Let's just get this nice and. You're gonna flood your mind, Lewis. I've... That'd be oh. pretty funny. <laughs> oh, shit. And everyone's going to be wading knee-deep in water. It's going to pour into your mind. I will, I guess, later. Um, I'll just leave a guy here digging this out. Berry, we'll berry, have to build berry. a proper stairwell. My berry meals are actually out. I wonder if that's my bottleneck. Yeah, I think my bottleneck on bread meals oh, is actually bread. berry meals. My bread is low as well. My berries, my berry meals, and my, my bread, bread is low. And my bread meals are low. My bread is low. I wonder if I should phase out the wheat porridge a bit and keep. Yeah, maybe I should. Oops. I'm is scared that used to for anything. I'm scared to 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 change things. Could just make more wheat farms, I guess. I just feel like I've got so many, and it's just not enough. They just get used. Right, these guys are going to dig this out, and I'll put fishermen here, and then I'll start putting the beds down here. I think this is going to be as deep as it goes. And this is deep enough, I think, for, for my dudes. I can't have it too deep in the ground, or else mm. man madness. You know? Madness. That madness lies that way. It's going to start... We're going to need a thousand beds anyway down here, so I might as well start placing them. Because otherwise, I could be here so a while. Far for my dudes to travel to get to the farms. You know? Well, yeah, this is. Yeah, but I maybe this is why you shift have a to fishing. Out, outpost. Maybe you just have fishing only. No, because. You know? No, you need the other meal for sure. Fish, you can't live on fish forever. Men cannot subsist on... I want my people to be like Gollum, though. You know, living in a hole. You know, eating only the fish right. that they fish out of the hole. I All right. wonder... I wonder if I... Beds. If you have... A... Tool shop... And a grocer... And some crates... Is that? Can you have a self-sufficient area that you can tunnel around, and then there's no zombies are gonna gonna be there? Um, I guess yeah. If you trap the people in there, you can. But can can zombies spawn on, say, a wheat field? Um. Look, these are all advanced colony crew. Mm. These are all colony. You know, if it's in the safe zone, then sure. But if okay, it's, it's not, not, so what if I was to make an outpost? Banner right. To make another safe zone in this field, just so I can have bigger. Well, farms. you can't seal off the banner, remember, but you can seal off. No, but no, you can't. That's you can true. seal off the other the the. the but just... I could. I don't have to 
steal of oh, I do have to steal the banner. Uh, hmm, tricky. All right, what are these guys do? Oh, these. What guys if I I could make it the only way. route to the banner is through my existing defenses? Y yes. Copper lock box. Where are these bronze lock boxes you've given me, Ravs? Oh, they should oh be... God, they look like little chests. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'll stick them. I'll stick them down. They look like little safes. Hmm. Right, let's go and buy a banner. Can I put them on top of? Hmm. Delete all your old ones and then put down the new ones. It's, there's no point in having the copper ones anymore. Well, they had a little bit. Ah, but the fret you're get you're paying for that is insane. It's not worth it. It's not that bad. Uh, it's not worth it, Lewis. You know okay. it's not worth it. Five thousand colony points. All right. Oh, that's okay. more than me. Well, the max, that's point. max, max. And then yeah. I need to find a way to get colony points to get the upgrades. So I need to generate things that give me colony points. All right, so yeah. let's see what I've got. First of all, flax makes linen, right? And I don't... I've got 1,000 flax, so I can have I can have more linen makers. All right, more linen makers. Who wants to make linen? Who wants to make tailor linen? Shops. I'll add two more tailor shops. Okay, all right, that's that sorted. And then, oh, these guys don't have enough wood. That's a bit of a problem. Not enough firewood. Do I have enough firewood? For me, was a big bottleneck a while ago. I had to plant a whole load of new trees. Firewood does seem like a bit of a bottleneck. Yeah, doing pretty good on firewood. I've given about up a tree, on about so more tree farms. Totally though. gave up on scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> scrolls are like my main income. Really? You sell yeah. them? Yeah. Brass. Where do I get brass? Oh, I have no idea. I think you probably need zinc. Oh, shit. Zinc is... Brass is zinc. The one below the trees, operate. isn't it? Zinc's the one below the trees? No idea. Could be. Hmm. I may have oopsied. Oopsie oh, doopsie. These guys make planks and those guys make... Um... Alright, let's buy a... An outpost banner. All right. Oh, I've got five thousand logs. Okay, I should have enough. I'm just not. I need more choppers. I need more choppers. All right. Okay. No, this is this is good. This is I, this is I like this. I yep. Would, Zing is for the man of tree. Add more more of these things. I'm not gonna like massively over add. Uh, we'll gently add two more, three more splitting stumps. Duncan's. Okay. Because they make the firewood, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Sure. And right. what else are people not using? You guys are making copper yeah. tools, which is fine. These guys don't have pots. But enough pots are being made. Oh, I see the pots are being used. Okay, this is fine. Do I get the pots back when I make, when I cook things? When you get bread. Yeah, you do. You get the pots back. All right, okay. Never mind. All right, to bed, <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah, I think you do. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, God. Uh, right, let's make a platform for my beds. All right, I'll put my scroll shelves down again, then. Um, you can do it back here. They'll reach too high, right? Scroll shelves. They reach too high, yeah. I, I yeah. can't think... I don't think they do three. I've tried. They need little ladders. All right. And then... Um, scroll shelves. I hate... I hate the scroll shelf mechanic. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, well, it's not too bad. If I put four scribes' desks in the middle, for Ooh. example. Fuck. There's boys. One. Right. Mic. Oh, yeah. I need a second trench. Huh. Didn't think about that. Um, then I can get 40 hmm. scroll shelves. I may have a scary night tonight. Yeah? I put in a bunch more copper lock boxes. Oh, Lewis did as well, so I wonder I if he's going to be in trouble. I want 340. Oh, I'm not... 
Oh, mine's not that much higher. Oh, 231. Yeah. That's, that is actually higher than it was previously. Well, yeah, you put down the log boxes, boy. Okay, I need 40 scroll shelves. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then more over the back here, I guess. Um, e, I have 521 barley, so how do I turn that into chickens? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you need chicken, a chicken farm. Chicken. I gotta eat it, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh yeah, chicken farm. Use barley to grow chickens. Hey, all right, then get some fucking cocks on the go, boys. Uh, three, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, then one more. Just go a bit further away, maybe. All right, you guys set up here. And we'll put Neat. four of these. Four of these will keep them going, I think. I wonder if the chicken farms are the Feels same as enough. the bee farms, where you literally just want to make like oh. the tiniest ones. Um, yes, they, they are. You can't yeah, pick up are. the banner. It deletes it. Ah! Oh, no. What outpost am I... banner. All my balls. Oh my god! My balls waste are not dropping. Points. Yeah, I did. I've tapped fifteen hundred. None of my right. balls have dropped. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, they've all dropped. I think I've accidentally massively increased my threat level by accident. Yeah, you have. Well, not, yeah. Did you get rid of the boxes like I told you? Oh, where are all these guys coming from? Oh <laughs> crap! They're did you coming... get rid? Did you get rid of your copper boxes? I I did. Yeah, but um, there's still like a lot of threat. I think coming in. Let's just seal this off for now, if I can. Oh, they're killing my dudes. No. 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 Nearly morning. <laughs> I think... I think I might be... I might be losing some dudes here. <laughs> they're all coming. They're not... They're not following the route that I said. I think I made my... guy look, like, wrong. Here we go. I'll block them off. Um, they're coming a weird route in. Mm. They're not coming over the top like they're supposed to. There we go. All right. Wow. There are a lot more dudes than previous. Hmm. Sacred fail safe. Sacred fail safe. Yeah, hit it. I'm. Um, I've actually. I think I'm okay. I'll save it for tomorrow night. I'm just concerned about this massively increased threat. Oh my god! Look how much tougher that boy is. Is this it, is, these is are the your, guys that want to be drop. Have my balls how's dropped? Your ammo? On them. Is it the ammo that's the problem? Maybe. Oops. That's why. I, I think my ammo's fine. Okay. I guess my sacred fell safe's up here. I should have just come up here and pressed it, but I don't know if I have enough like charge on it or whatever. Do you know what I mean I haven't like eaten? I haven't had it all that long with sacred fail safe. Well, the more the charge, the bigger the radius. I we think, lost 13 dudes. Oh, that's not too bad. Sorry, I'll recruit 13 more. Um, yeah, I've got plenty of... Look, let's go in here and check about the ball situation. See, look, he's refilling my just... balls just fine. These guys <laughs> are just happily refilling my balls. Right. I, I don't well, know why nice they're out here, though. I can move them inside. Let's move these guys over into here. Um, and then put a crate down where they can get a new ball. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I need more ball droppers. Ball droppers. Oh, I've got to make a new bloody Are these guys still trench. firing? Oh. Oh. I think... Hmm. I haven't got any day guards either. I've just like neglected. I've got a couple just in case, but it's not like going to be enough. If something I don't think happens. the ball boys do stay up all night. I think they go to bed. Right, yeah. That makes sense. Can you get nighttime? Can you get daytime ball guys? Ball boys? Daytime ball boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's like only day. It's only a day job for them. Right. I don't need many ball, ball boys. 
I just need enough ball boys. Um, hmm. Well, I tell you what I could do. I could set up some guards down here and add a second layer of ball protection. Ball protection. Or I could just set up some guys down here. A cup. A cup. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, is it the 233? Is that the issue, the threat level? I don't know, like, maybe not. I mean, you did massively go up threat that day. That's why it happened, probably. Let's take all these up and just see how much threat they actually add. They had 10 threat each. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so without them, I'm at 143. Yeah, you went up like 100 threat. <laughs> okay, yeah, that... Okay, that was why it was twice as hard. Okay, that does <laughs> yeah. make sense. All right, good. Okay, well, we don't need them yet. I guess what we can do is we can put them down, do the upgrade, and then... Oh. And then I can, like, you know, put them down, do the upgrade, and then pick them up again. Right. Okay, finally. All right, sorry. Sorry. Good luck. I don't like having to make changes like that, though. You know, it feels feels exploity. You know. What do you mean? It feels cheeky. What does? You know, doing like picking them up and selling them all this. You know. Oh right, yeah. I mean, it's a bit weird that they, like the, <laughs> you don't sell them. You you just you don't have them full, right? So, the threat. I guess that it adds threat because the zombies are there because they they want the gold. Yeah. <laughs> they love gold. Zombies are famous for it. Um, so maybe that's the issue. I'll try not to waste my colony points this time. <laughs> I think I accidentally just lost 400 colony points. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find I stuff to sell. I need to find well. stuff to sell. Um, which is why I've got these scroll guys back. Making scrolls again. Back once again. Oh no, they're making tablets of ancient wisdom. I think they use scrolls to... They they use four scrolls. I'm not sure. Oh shit! Are they gonna be able to reach these ones up here? I guess not. Actually, now no. I think about it. Oh, did I balls this up? I think I did. Sorry, guys. You balls I, it up, boy. I've ruined this. I didn't realize these were too high. I guess I can just bring them down. <clears throat> okay, this is still fixable. Which has an guys. auto run button. <laughs> Really good for making trenches, just hold down click and auto run. Alright, fine. Okay. I need one more? What? How have I lost one? I don't even. Um He doesn't even. Alright, you can reach all these now, can you, lads? Yeah? Making your tablets of ancient wisdom. And what are the, who makes those into something? The, the writing desk or something? Does the writer turn them into scrolls? I can't remember. I don't know. No. Huh. So How am I going to? It doesn't get... go back to geometry. No, it stayed. It's, it lost. I lost it. When what I are these even for? It. What tablets of ancient wisdom? Well, I've gone away for a week and I can't remember any of this new game. Therefore, certain unlocks, science, science, science unlocks. Are they? Yeah. So what's the point in me building all this crap? Nothing. No point. Have I built the wrong thing? Probably. Um, no, you need it all. I need... These guys make scrolls knowledge out of parchment. How do I make parchment? That's from animal skin. Oh, Tanner's table, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's my Tanner's table? Here. What are they making? Boy, boy check? How many boys? Uh, uh, some. 300 and something. Okay. 401, baby. Whoa! Oh, 368. Skin. Well, I, ha nice. I am making a farming um, outpost, right? So when that's, that's up and running, I'll be able to have so many boys just because they'll have food. Think of all the food they'll have. Oh. Oh you guys are God. like you guys are playing this game properly. I'm, impre I'm impressed. Sure I've are. taught you well, honestly. You taught us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I taught you. <laughs> Some of my students, right? I taught you about dudes and how many you need Did? and Steve and 
Dave, Craig, you know, Gary. Yeah, all, you know all the all the stuff you need to know. I got your Gary. back. Thank you. Hmm, how deep can I go in this mountain? I don't want to accidentally. I'll actually accidentally dig under. Dig what under. What are you doing? Do, 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 do. This one. Wait. I never go hungry again. I just got an achievement for having 2,500 meals in total. Really? Wow. Really? Wait, you guys aren't far off that. I have over that. Yeah, that's already got that achieve. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Zombie just spawned in front of me. Ah. Right. Ah, Chat, no what's the most optimal chicken size? Like, what's the? Give me some chicken chicken farm sizes. Chicken I think nuggies. it's just the, it's just the, the, the whatever the smallest one you can get is, Revs. Yeah. It will genuinely be that. Yeah. Three by three is the hot chicken number. One by one. <laughs> you want to get them battery farmed as tightly as you can. But. Hmm. But then you have to have more dudes doing it, right? Yeah, but we need we need dudes to do stuff anyway. But it, obviously, it's more efficient to have you know it's quicker to make chicken if you have a, a smaller one. But surely, Ooh. less dudes can that do it if good. you have bigger ones. <laughs> I've made a construction area and it's like sticking out. That's not not actually very good, is it? Um, not all no. That's actually not very good at all. Oh, bloody hell! I'm a little worried about putting guards here because it looks like the guys come that way to reach the main entrance hmm well we'll find out maybe the not pass. enough free beds oh, oh. i can oh. tell them i can tell them how many chickens to meet Mm. So if I just t tell them to make infinite raw chicken. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? Infinity yeah. raw chicken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good plan. Good plan. Oh, look, my dudes are starting to sleep in the mega dude hole. Oh, the mega dude hole. Some of them have, have, have taken up residence. <laughs> I, I guess I know it's going to... This is going to expose weaknesses in my system, right? Like, maybe the woods are being used up for making new beds. Maybe that's why I'm running out of firewood. Oh, that's... I've run out of beds. That's what I've done. And how's the I've fishing two hole? two astrolabes. Nice. Wait, why did I just get the achieve? You'll never go hungry again. Yeah, you also hit 2,500 meals. But I had over that. When we were talking Sometimes about the, it, I think they only hit that night time though, like the, the oh, night that you get it. I see. Maybe we both did it on the same day. I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's just dig this out a bit further. Oh um, my god, my copper is in the pits. What happened to my copper? Well, it's been used for bronze now, right? So it's that's why. Shit. I had to do the same. I had to up my copper production when I started making bronze. And it's also, I mean, every crossbow bolt uses like three copper or something stupid. So it's like crossbow bolts. But I have a shit ton. So now I need to build the giga furnace and have a million yeah. boys smelting. I already have a big furnace area. Not big oh, enough. Fuck me. Which way do I want to expand? This way, probably, I guess. And out the back. All right. God. <laughs> I've got to make my boat at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Mississippi Steamboat. That's the whole thing you're named after. <laughs> it's a doing great on the old boat front. You're so, currently zero out of one boats. Yeah. It's, I don't we, need we, more. We're getting the infrastructure in, in place. I need to knock oh, down shit. this wooden monstrosity. I'm in my trench. <laughs> I hate when I fall in my trench. I have 5,270 copper. But it's not being turned into ingots, so I need to... So you need more smelters. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fell off. <laughs> just fell off and, and died. Uh, just a normal, just a normal, normal day. 
Um, right, it's morning, guys. It's morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Craig. You're just taking over my job. You're just you're you're like superior to me now. What is this? I've What's also happened? got I've got Jills as well. We got any Jills? I've got. What do you mean you got Jills? What the fuck? <laughs> Steve, Craig, Dave, and Jill. The fuck? This isn't cool. Sorry. Let's move some of these guys. Oh, I'll do it later. I'm going to move some of these guys indoors just so they shoot before. So I don't waste so many drops mm. on the the weaker the, zombies. The, the, the little shits. Because the, 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 basically they will shoot the weakest zombie they can within range, right? I think. Yeah. I think so. I could be wrong on that. I think Who's this guy. I think the the lower the tier of ammo, the lower the tier of zombie that they focus on. Right. Oh, really? What's well, so arrows so, will shoot middly guys. Yeah, and crossbows will shoot the big boys. And mm. so, what you're saying? I need slingers some. Slingers will go for the little ones. So it's useful to have some slingers because they they pick off the little shits before the crossbows shoot them. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> that's, I, that's how I would design it. That's all I'm saying. That's what oh I would do. Ty, Ty. We've been doing this for an hour and a half already. How? How? I, know, I haven't done I know, anything. I've not left by. my base. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yule Fuel says, I'm sad you guys didn't make any content for Diablo 4 beta. I didn't even know it was happening, honestly. Um... Diablo 3 videos were really some of my favourites. I don't remember I had a doing key for Diablo it. 3 videos either. I had keys for them and really? I just don't... Didn't, like, I, I tried to log in I once and it was I don't really full. ever play beaters anymore. I, if I, I just, I'd rather just wait for the game to come out, you know? Right. Dig, dig a hole. Around. Diggy diggy hole area. I can increase it up to 10,000 blocks. Let's do that. Why do I need bigger holes though? I feel like this. Well, I just I feel like it was just in my in my instinct. Beaters, Be beta, 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 beaters. Is that, that's how I pronounce them. I'm gonna start moving guys down and down into the deep. Oh, it's gonna be down glorious. And down into the deep. I'm gonna pull. Let's let's do this now. Let's do this. A little quick. I'll make a quick digger area. I'll hopefully, won't right. die falling into it. Making a, a elevated bedroom. Just thinking, because if we're getting to the end of our stream, I want to set this up before I go. You know, so when I come back, same. Um, I will. Uh, you know, I've because I've forgotten my entire plans by the time we come back to this next week. But yeah. if I set up this digger area, and my guys start digging away. Then you'll yeah, they'll, five thousand. Even when you remember it an hour later, you'll be like, "Oh yeah, it's all done." Yeah, I could dig. Yeah, I could dig real, yeah. real deep, and well, I don't want to accidentally cut into other regions. Although, am I already below? Am I already? Yeah, you want to make this... sure that you're not digging outside your banner when you're about when you're below ground. Yeah. Risky. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. That seems like a solid... My cap is officially 500. A solid 5,000 dig deep. Gee, Ravs, you're fucking smashing it, boy. Yeah. Right, these guys are going to dig out my... Fi this is going to be my fishing area here. They're going to dig this fishing area out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this water out in here into, like, different channels and then have loads of fish. And I might put the cookers down here as well, cooking the fish. And then more beds down here... And then more people moved into the hole. Into the but hole. I want to hide. I need to hide these guys from view. Oh, baby. See. Chicken is coming in. Oh, baby. You get chicken? Yep. Chicken. I got raw chicken. Nice. All right. We're going to sell some of these. Get to a thousand points. Then we're going to research... Chicken meals, bam. Okay, we've Man, done it. You guys it. are like now, properly doing it. Now I can make chicken farms. Before we finish, I need a cabbage, cabbage and barley, right? 
or do you need just barley or is it cabbage and barley uh, I don't know. I don't need. I don't need no cabbage. You do for the meals. Oh. Oh. Sat in a oh. stove. I don't know. Oh. Checking me. Oh, it does need cabbage, bastardo. Oh, I can, I can water collect. Spell down there. It's more efficient. Where the fuck am I going to get right. cabbage? From cabbage farms. Who does that? Cabbage farmers. <laughs> Wait, I can just make these anywhere. Yeah. Duh. Fuck me, the sk the pyramid must get taller. <laughs> I've made a, I've made a literal entire outpost just for these extra farms. I'm like I'm guessing it's gonna be another free by free situation. Oh, I'm making a huge like like wheat farms. Okay. How many can I should I recruit to two hundred? Let's just do that. Do 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 and I've got two hundred, okay. I feel like that's a milestone. To next week I will get a big Re recruitment drive and I will expand everything until then oh, basically I just want to okay I just need to get colony points dudes colony points and dudes dudes is all I need um, thank you chat by the way for watching um, someone wanted me to say happy birthday to their brother Nikita so they go that's that done. It's a cool name. Um, let us know if you need me to say anything else in chat right now, and I will. I'll get that all out of the way. You know, this is important. Uh, York's Coast Cyan is still going in chat. I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah, Fav in chat. I Hello. Cancelled. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say you love me to Junction? Oh, don't say it, Lewis. It's a trap. Nicola wants me to tell her I love her as well. Daltonics wants me to say I'm a goober. Um, uh, I'm a go That's a goober. Do people You're want me to goober? get involved with um, cryptos? Your, your vault crypto hunters? scams. Crypto yes, crypto you should. Scams. You should. Uh, Come on, I don't, I don't do have a, a Minecraft do a account vault. anymore. I don't yeah, you a... do. You did one at the. The I use the Ben's like Ben's use, spare like, account. One. Yeah, I think that's his son's Minecraft account. Actually, <laughs> you played on Ben's son's Minecraft I account. Think so. I, I assume so. <laughs> I, I don't know where he got it from. Otherwise, <laughs> like, or maybe it's just a spare one. I don't know. Ben's got tons of spare accounts. He, he used to use for like. I just assumed it was his son's one. Shit. I thought it would be funnier. Um. So yeah, uh, what else? Are oh, people were talking about me and Ben doing um, Lewis and Ben again. There was like a petition on the Reddit, and I was like, "Oh, I don't know if it'll be the same." You know, we changed so much, me and Ben. But really? people would be doing highlights of our old series and making it look like it's amazing. But there's like two minutes of amazing stuff in nine hours of dross, you know, stream, <laughs> and like nine hours of like struggling to kill aliens are like dying horribly but the highlights look great they make us look like we're the best streamers ever so yeah it's a bit rose tinted um yes so yes thank you everyone uh well, some people are saying they like it well i'm glad well you never know we might come back uh, especially if i heard there's some good tactics games coming out like um there's the lamplighters guild or whatever it's called which is the indiana jonesy Paradox is publishing Ooh. it, I think. It might be okay. okay. It's made by the Battletech people. That might be a good one. I don't know. Like, we just need I a good game. Battletech. Just need a good game. Battletech was decent. Battletech was fine, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't great, but it was fine. Um. All right. We're done. Thank you for. We're done. We're done. For, for... All right. What's oh, our no, final whole... final boy check before we log out? Phantom Brigade. Oh, Same as before, Phantom but I've, been, I've made a massive. Farming outpost. Okay. It's looking good. Just for mega food. I have a uh, four hundred and twenty-six. Wow. How about you, lads? You, well, Lewis, still, still three, boy three, count two hundred. I've just set up some little cross, uh, little slinger lads to kill the chump ones, but so they don't waste my balls. Nice. So only the big zombies get their balls. I get my balls. Right. Happy, happy with my progress today. <laughs> this is all I've done. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, we'll be back. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.
We love you. Bye, everyone. Ciao, ciao. Goodbye.